Hello, Pixels the Perlers here. So I'm gonna be taping up this Sub-Zero. I'm just gonna shoot this video because a couple of people asked to see how I did it. And I figured uh, now is a better time than any. Uh, to start off with, this is the tape I'm using. This is gonna be your Scotch Original Blue tape, uh, painter's tape. And I had the best luck with it. I've got it on a tape dispenser. If you don't have a tape dispenser, it's no big deal. I mean, this is not necessary. I just had one laying around. But, uh, you know, I guess it helps for the ease of use and uh, keeping things orderly and stuff. You know, you could probably find one at a rummer sale for like a buck. You know, probably be worthy. Be worth picking up if you do a lot of taping and ironing and whatnot. Tape's being a real bear right now, I'm trying to get this on, get it started. I've been working on this Sub Zero for quite some time. Finally finished it up, but uh, finished it up on my beginning of my work week, so that was no bueno. Didn't have time to work on it since. But uh, you're gonna see what I do is, I'm gonna have a long piece of tape and I'm going to stretch it past the boards. Down tight, down on the edges. Pad it just a little bit, make sure it's on there. Overlap just a little bit. Make sure it's on there. You'll cut this tape off after, so you're gonna waste a lot of tape, but I'll show you why it's worth doing because if you've ever used the punch board to poke holes, and you've ever had the punch board or the, the peg board pull up the tape with the beads under it. It's a real pain in the ass. And having the tape all the way across will stop that from happening. You have the tape real tight on the edges far out. When you pull that uh, peg board up, it's not going to allow the beads to come up and then fold over. I kind of come down pretty fast and deliberate because if you kind of come down halfway and you half step it, what will happen is that tape has a tendency, you might touch it and that tape will pick up all the beads that it comes in contact with and it turns into a mess. But if that does happen, like even if you might get beads that fold over, what I mean fold over is they kind of fall over sideways under the tape for whatever reason, because you put it on crooked or you put one side down first and then they got caught and then they turned over sideways. People panic, but that's completely, it's not the end of the world. And basically all you do is what I've realized is if you have a spot over here and you can feel the beads flipped over you take a razor blade, cut a square out inside the tape, pull it off, put the beads back where they should be and put a patch uh, piece over. It's not a big deal. People love my little sawed boards. Well, this is before I had my uh, my saw. This is <laughs> I was with a hacksaw and then just got irritated and ended up cracking it to get it done. 
but now I have a, a saw, a table saw, no, not a table saw, is it a table saw? Yeah, a miter, miter saw, technically it's called. Now I can just zip them down, and I do that because I don't want to have a full board hanging off the edge when I'm taping because when the tape goes on, the tape goes on that board and it just doesn't lay down as good. Like, it's hard to explain, but trust me. Really happy with how this Sub Zero turned out bead wise. Just hoping everything goes well after. I made a taping guide, posted on Reddit, and I did eventually put it on my Instagram, which is at Pixels to Perlers, uh, P I X E L S, the number two, P E R L E R S. And uh, the post, you know, didn't get that much action. You know, a little bit. I don't know. I don't think people like in depth multi page posts <laughs> it kind of defeats the purpose of Instagram but if you ever want it just hit me up and uh, I can definitely give it to you <laughs> 